I'm Professor Sarah Mole. I work on Batten disease research and I've been doing that for a long time here at UCL. Batten disease is a, a disease that affects children who are born healthy um, and then they deteriorate as cells in their brain die. So what we wanted to do was first of all identify why they got this disease, what genes were going wrong uh, in the disease, then try and work out what uh, these genes do normally, how they keep things, the cells healthy and then develop some treatments because at the moment there's, there's no treatment for this disease at all. We identified the first gene in 1995, an awfully long time ago now, and since then uh, about 13 genes are known. So we now know Batten disease is a collection of lots of monogenic uh, d gene disorders that have similar effects on the children. That discovery was fundamental to everything that's been done since, because even developing a treatment etc, we, we know that we have to direct a treatment that's specific for a particular gene uh, defect. We actually use yeast to model one of these diseases. Um, that's because yeast are very simple organisms. They only have 5,000 genes, uh, whereas humans have more than 20,000, so it makes things simpler. But we use yeast because actually yeast get Batten disease too. They have a gene that's just like the gene uh, that causes one of the major types of the human disease. So therefore we've been able to simplify things down and it's allowed us to discover things or to understand things uh, that we perhaps wouldn't have been able to do so easily if we were just working, say, in human cells. We also use vertebrate model organisms as well and um, we're particularly using uh, mice to uh, test out uh, gene therapy for the brain and the eye. Um, obviously mice are very small but uh, it, they do get the Batten disease as well and it is possible to, to uh, try out new vectors and modify your vectors and test them very easily and then once we've got that result obviously the ultimate aim of course is to take, what, take whatever vector works and take it into children and do a clinical trial and see, see whether we can, can help. Because we work on disease, we find that actually students often want to do projects with us. Uh, they like to see the sort of direct applicability of, of what they're doing. One of the major projects that we're um, doing for three types of bat disease is actually funded by the European Union. Uh, this uh, project is called BatCure and we're actually working very closely with 14 institutes across Europe, uh, all contributing different aspects to the project. We've made links with institutes and people that we haven't worked with before and I really want to carry on working with some of those people because they're bringing unique aspects into the project, uh, focusing on these three types of Batten disease. One of the new things we've been doing is using omic approaches where we're particularly looking at the effects on many metabolites or components of the cell all at the same time and this is allowing us to see what's happening during the disease, test whether the drugs that we're interested in are changing things back to sort of health, to, to what looks healthy and of course we're really excited because it would be a way of get, bringing in some earlier diagnosis and we know for treating the children that we have to get treatment in as early as possible so the sooner we can diagnose them the better.